Will AI replace software engineers or will AI help software engineers to become more efficient and this video is going to be all about how can AI assist you if you are a software engineer or you are a data scientist or somebody who closely writes code because I am going to help you understand how can you efficiently take help of AI to write your code, review your pull requests, add that documentation and even understand your project context from Jira to deployment. I've been very active in the space from quite some time. You have already seen a lot of tutorials on my channel. And last month on October 8th, Atlassian launched RoboDev for general availability. And that's something that's magical. I've already tested a lot of CLI agents that can help you write code. But RoboDev was very seamless because it gets integrated seamlessly with the apps that we work with on day-to-day -day basis as developers be it our Jira or Confluence and I thought of creating this video in partnership with Atlassian for this RoboDev agent to showcase its capabilities and help you understand how can you take advantage, how can you become more productive and efficient at your workplace and save a lot of time that you can practically put to use on any other important task. I would like to thank Atlassian for sponsoring this content and if you like the content make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more such amazing content coming ahead without any further ado let's get started first thing that we're going to see is installation of RoboDev. i'll just search for RoboDev on google and i'll get the first link you can also get the link from my description where you can get the entire information so you'll be on uh, a screen like this where you can try it now or you can sign up so i have already signed up but uh, let's uh, click on try it now if i'll click on try it now it will ask me to create my own site so you can just name it anything for example i'll name it arsh goel 98lation that's available i'll click on agree and start now if i click on agree and start now uh, let's see what happens so it's building my own site it'll take some time but let's see what it gives us So this is how the interface looks like. It is asking me to start, get started with RoboDev. I'll click on next. It is asking me if I want to install RoboDev in my CLI. Yes, I want to install RoboDev in my CLI because most of the work that I do is in CLI. So it is asking me to install it there. So there are a few steps on how can you install it. You can install it on Mac OS or Windows or Linux. I currently uh, operate on Mac OS. I'll click on Mac OS. So they have given the entire uh, instructions on how can you do that. I'll uh, open my terminal. This is the first installation command. I'll just copy this command. I'll open my terminal. I'll put in this command. Uh, next. So it's asking me if I want to reinstall because it's already installed on my system. Uh, I can do that. brew reinstall acli but if you'll do it for the first time you don't need to reinstall you can install it will take some time to install some packages and your uh, road of cli would be all right after this once this is done you just need to click on uh, the version if it's uh, correct so i'll just check on acli version which version i'm operating on so i'm operating on acli version 1.3.6 that's a stable version so this is the first step in installation second thing is you need to have your Atlassian account. Once you click on this thing, so you just need to log in or sign up on this Atlassian account. Uh, they will send you a six-digit code for on your email ID. Now I have this page where I can create an API token. This API token is very important for authenticating your CLI with your uh, uh, RoboDev agent. So you can just click on create API token. I'll just show you how to do that. But uh, let's see what the process looks like. So it's generate an API token for your. So once you generate an API token, next step is to authenticate your OS dev CLI with this command. So just need to click on this uh, authentication command. I'll just click on OK. So it's uh, it'll ask you to type in your email. I have logged in via this email. I'll uh, put in my email and the API key that I want. So I'll just create a new API key. For example. Uh, Rovo Dev YouTube Demo. So I'll just name this uh, API token and you can set its expiry date. When do you want this uh, API key or token to expire? So you can just give it uh, any any date. It's valid for one year, right? You can just click in anything in September. I'll click on create. 
Now this is the CLI. Now this is the API token that I have. I'll, I've copied this. I've copied this on my. I've copied this on my. I've copied this on my clipboard, and now I'll copy paste it here. Now once you do that, you will find your authentication is successful. Now RoboDev CLI is authenticated with RoboDev is authenticated with my CLI, and now we can get started right so these are the two important things uh, that are there next is there any other step that you're missing so this is uh, the command to run dev cli let's see if we can run it now now this is the command that i've uh, uh, clicked on so it's starting the robot dev in my terminal now this is how the interface would look like uh, once the robot dev is started right so terminal would like to you can give it an allow so this is an interactive interface right you can choose so many things currently we are using the model claude sonet uh, 4 let's see if there are some other models available i'll click on models when i click on models there are four different models to choose from you can use gpt5 you can use claude sonet 4.5 auto it can change with respect to your query or it can be uh, anything else so I, i'm just i'm okay using claude sonet 4 i'll click on uh, okay so anything else so there's so many other things right if you want to uh, clear if you want to config if you want to copy feedback uh, help id jira memory models right so so many different things you can have these predefined prompts for uh, in this interactive mode so you can uh, try multiple of these and see how how these looks like not just that you can seamlessly integrate it with any of your ids i use vs code for a lot of my uh, code generation code writing i click on vs code i'll start a new terminal and i'll run the same command and I will have RoboDev CLI agent inside my VS code as well. So this is how uh, you can do stuff within your VS code. For example, if I will open a repository here, right? If I'll open a repository here, I'll open a new folder. I'll open the sample to do project. Uh, this is there in front. I have the terminal and inside this terminal, I will open my RoboDev CLI and i can chat and understand more about my code right so let's say if i if i'll ask can you please check the code for any potential security vulnerabilities let's see what it says So it's checking the code base uh, for any security vulnerabilities that might be there. Let's see what it uh, gives us. So yeah, so it has gone through the entire code base and it is helping me understand if there are any security vulnerabilities. Also some high priority vulnerabilities are there, medium priority vulnerabilities are there and uh, if they want me to create a detailed fix for uh, the no SQL injection vulnerabilities. And I can simply ask it to implement these security vulnerabilities and it can do that for me inside my VS code. So this is how powerful this uh, uh, integration of RoboDev CLI and my VS code is. Second thing, for example, we have been using Jira for uh, a lot of our tasks. For example, if you're working in any organization, your manager would assign you a Jira ticket for getting something done, right? So for example, this is my Jira dashboard and inside my Jira dashboard, there are some uh, tickets that uh, are there so these are some sample tickets that i created just to showcase you the capabilities and this is one of those tickets to improve the waiting list experience of uh, this hypothesis so i'll just click on uh, i'll just copy the link for this uh, jira issue i've just copied the link i'll open my terminal where i have my robot of cli inside this robot of cli now I'll ask it to implement this Jira issue directly. So can you implement this Jira issue directly? I'll just copy paste the link to my Jira issue and I'll click on enter. So you can see it is connected to all my Atlassian data without any external MCP configuration requirement. It knows everything already and I can seamlessly do whatever I want inside my Jira, inside my Confluence and you can see the magic happening. So you can see this is currently a to-do app, API application but the Jira issue is about improving the waitlist experience for travel plans. It seems like we need to implement waiting list functionality for a travel platform. Let me explore the routes and models to understand the current structure better. 
So it is understanding the current structure. This is uh, a to do API, but we need to implement the waiting list. So, so you can see uh, it has understood, it has implemented the waiting list uh, feature for travel plans based upon the Jira issue. So this is how seamless this RoboDev CLI agent is. So it has created this function and you can see the magic. Not just this, if I want to have a documentation inside my confluence for uh, the current issue or the current vulnerabilities or the current application that I have, I'll, I can just ask that uh, right away. So for example, you open your confluence. So this is the confluence. I'll go to my confluence page. And this is how and you know the best part is RoboDev was available to general public last month and, and people have been using extensively and putting down reviews across different platforms if you feel that this is something that's very powerful something that's very useful for your uh, work then definitely go ahead and check this out i'll provide the links in the description for any help required also do ping me in the comments if you feel like there's some issues then that i can address and just try putting your feedback online on twitter or on uh, linkedin any any of these platforms i think that would be very very powerful and that can help you build your uh, AI capabilities and AI thought leadership because you have been trying a new product. So this is, uh, it's asking me for some permission so I can click on allow always. So this is how you can automate a lot of stuff. This is how you can get close integrations with your Jira, Confluence, your CLI and get stuff done in the least amount of time possible, making you, your work, your workplace more efficient altogether. So you can see it has successfully implemented the Jira issue MDP4 to improve the workflow. It has done these many things altogether. Some API endpoints were created, files were created, modified. So this is how, how this looks like and this is, is purely magical. You can do, take any, any of your Jira issues and you can implement in your CLIs. I'll just ask it if it can, can you me with the documentation of above issue on a new page in confluence so just click on this so it is help, happy to help me create a confluence page to document this uh, waiting list implementation let me first check what confluence spaces are available and then create a comprehensive documentation page so it's trying to check and create a confluence page for the entire documentation of this issue that we are going to solve and see how magical it is both the works creating and solving your issue second creating and getting the documentation for the issue that you did uh, in just a few minutes right so it's helping you solve a lot of your redundant tasks that don't require human interference definitely if there's some issue you can intervene yourself and you can potentially help the llm model to get it done better but see very very seamless i've been using it from quite some time and this is is magical thought of creating this video for you also, thanks to Atlassian for supporting this content and I'll keep on bringing more such content if you show some love. Please make sure that you hit that like button and comment below that motivates me to make more such content for you. So now I'm inside my conference and this is the document it has created. You can see waiting list experience enhancement, MDB4 implementation, overview, problem statement, solution overview, key features and the code samples as well. So this is how it has documented it so well, right? And you can also tell it the style that you want, the style that you're currently working on, and it will automatically get trained using uh, that kind of uh, infrastructure. So you can see it, ha it has seamlessly connected with your Confluence, with your Jira, and you can do a lot of other stuff. Let me just uh, 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 try and see if it can help me migrate code or if it can help me review my PRs, right? So can you review the latest PR that I created. So let's see if it can help me with PR reviews also. So I'd be happy to review your latest PR. I need a bit more information to locate it. So it's asking me to uh, check the, provide the link of that PR. This PR and trying to review it. Uh, it couldn't find any PRs in this specific repository, but Yes, if there are some PRs, it can help you review those PRs also. It can also even help you, it has capabilities of helping you to migrate your code, right? Can you migrate this code base to its latest version? Let's see what it does. For example, if you're currently on React 18, it can help you get into React 19 so easily. I'm just, I've just given an ambiguous query. Let's see what it takes. 
can be updated but there's zero vulnerability that it found but if at all your code base is on a previous version it can easily help you do that as well within your CLI so this is how magical RoboDev CLI is and RoboDev in general is that is very seamless across all your workspace apps like Confluence or Jira let me know in the comments below how did you find this demo and if you are going to try this today I will provide the links to try out in the description. Make sure you definitely check this out. Also, if you feel that there's some doubt, anything you want to ask, let me know in the comments below. I'll be super happy to answer. This was all for this particular video. Thank you so much. All the best. Good luck and bye.